Thank you very much, uh, Congresswoman Norton, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Mrs. Norton referred to uh, an event uh, a few weeks ago when myself and 40 other people were arrested. I've never been prouder to be arrested in my life. <laughs> and uh, hopefully uh, it will be yet another catalyst for helping us to focus on these issues in which the people of the District of Columbia, the 600,000 people who pay the same federal taxes as anyone else, uh, have yet to be treated with the same level of respect uh, and citizenship as uh, other Americans. Uh, again, I want to thank uh, Mrs. Norton uh, for uh, bringing us together again today. And also DC Vote, uh, you can, uh, for the work that you all do day in, day out, it's done for years try to continue to focus this issue uh, in our city. And for those who are behind me, uh, who represent you know, important causes, uh, thank you for being good advocates uh, for the issues that you represent. And we look forward to hearing from you all uh, as well. I also want to thank uh, New Hampshire State Representative uh, Cindy Rosenwald, uh, who has been tireless uh, in her efforts in New Hampshire on behalf of the District of Columbia. And I only wish we could multiply her many, many times over. Uh, she just reintroduced a resolution just yesterday uh, in the New Hampshire House of Representatives that formally declares that that body uh, is supportive of full democracy in the District of Columbia. Uh, it's allies like Cindy that will uh, help make Congress change their behavior towards the District of Columbia. Uh, Cindy's efforts paired, of course, with our warrior on the Hill um, are uh, going to be one day too vital to, to fight against and too compelling. And thank you, Mrs. Norton, for being the, the fighter that you have on behalf of your city. It is an honor to join with you on behalf of the 600,000 representatives, knowing we have this kind of spirit and this kind of fighter representing us on Capitol Hill. How about you? I think we all know that um, last year, uh, Mrs. Norton's uh, bill that would have extended voting rights, and we thought all the stars were uh, aligned uh, to make that happen, um, wound up being amended by a poison pill that was drafted by the National Rifle uh, Association that essentially would have obliterated the ability of uh, the district to legislate on the subject of guns in our community. I can't imagine anybody finding that anything but uh, reprehensible. Uh, violent crime in the district, as in many cities, is a continuing problem, even though ours is going in the right direction, but it's certainly not obviously an insurmountable one. To put it simply, limiting the number of weapons available to criminals lowers crime. The district will not abrogate its sovereignty. No other state would accept this conditional representation and neither will the District of Columbia. Congress's attacks on our ability to legislate on guns in the district imperils the safety of all of our citizens. Every state government focuses on protecting the health and safety of its citizens. Many citizens across the country have created needle exchange programs, for example, because they are a proven way to lessen the spread of, the, of HIV and, of course, of propylone AIDS. Congressional limitations have helped to create an HIV infection rate in the district that is equal to many of those found in sub-Saharan Africa. 1% is considered to be a, an epidemic, a 1% infection rate. We have a 3% infection rate uh, here in the District of Columbia, and among some of our subpopulations, the infection rate is as high as 7%. And we know that needle exchange programs have been proven all across the country to be effective and stemming the spread uh, of the virus. Um, we will not allow the health of our city to be used as a, as a tool. Neither will we allow the rights of our women to be usurped. For years, the district has been banned from using its own funds for the full range of family planning options, including abortion. Abortion is a right of every woman. It is cruel for Congress to utilize the special status of the district to curb the rights of women. The women of the District of Columbia deserve the same options that women in Utah, South Carolina, or Virginia, or any other state, uh, for that matter, uh, have. I've spent my entire career working for the betterment of people. 
my upbringing in the district, and my education at the George Washington University gave me firm lessons in discrimination and civil rights. I'm proud of my history in fighting for the civil rights of all district residents. The Council of the District of Columbia passed, under my chairmanship, a law equalizing marriage uh, in the District of Columbia. I could not and would not stand by as my friends and neighbors were discriminated against because of who they are. Marriage is a civil right that the district is proud to support for every one of our residents. The district has a progressive and dynamic history. Our civil rights are being violated every day by Congress. The District of Columbia is not a congressional toy, and we certainly are no laboratory. We are the capital city and seat of the capital of the greatest nation uh, on earth. We are no different from other Americans because we choose to be. Uh, we are different only because Congress forces us to be different than we otherwise would choose to be in the United States of America. Thank you all very much.